Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Arena. I'm a fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon who focuses on foot, ankle, and lower extremity conditions. And today we're gonna to be talking about ankle arthritis. To understand ankle arthritis, first we have to understand the basic bony anatomy of the ankle. The ankle joint is made up of three bones, the tibia bone or the shin bone, the fibula bone, and the talus bone. Between these bones is a joint surface made up of cartilage, which is the ball bearing surface of the joints that allows for pain-free range of motion and activities. Arthritis is the medical term for destruction of this cartilage, which causes decreased range of motion, bone spur formation, inflammation, pain, and bone on bone contact. Patients who see me for ankle arthritis undergo thorough physical exam and history are evaluated by x-ray and occasionally CT scan to assess the severity of their disease as well as their overall alignment and always started with non-operative treatment first. Treatments involve bracing, steroid injections, anti-inflammatories, and physical therapy. Patients who have continued pain and limitations after undergoing non-operative management have options for surgical treatment. This is usually one of three options. The first would be bone spur debridement. The second would be an ankle fusion or arthrodesis. And the third is a total ankle replacement, also known as an ankle arthroplasty. One of the surgical interventions for ankle arthritis is bone spur debridement. This is for patients who have less severe arthritis and maintain joint space or that ball bearing surface in the joint, but have bone spurs forming in the front of the ankle. This causes impingement and pain with range of motion. Bone spur debridement means that we go and use either an arthroscope through a minimally invasive approach or an open procedure to take off those bone spurs to improve range of motion. Patients with severe ankle arthritis who have exhausted non-operative management and continue to have pain and limitations may be a candidate for a surgical procedure called an ankle fusion or ankle arthrodesis. This surgery involves growing the bones together of the tibia, fibula bone, and talus bone and has long been the gold standard for surgical treatment of ankle arthritis. Many patients bring up concerns prior to surgery that their gait will be significantly altered due to decreased range of motion. Here's a video of a patient one year out from an ankle arthrodesis. Patients with severe ankle arthritis who exhaust conservative management and are continuously limited with pain and function may benefit from a surgical procedure called a total ankle replacement or an ankle arthroplasty. In comparison to an ankle fusion where the bones are grown together, this involves removing the joint surface and replacing it with a polyethylene and metal components, similar to total knee replacements or total hip replacements. Patients with ankle arthritis should seek care from an orthopedic surgeon who's specialized and fellowship trained in foot, ankle, and lower extremity. In my opinion, all non-operative treatment options should be exhausted prior to considering surgery. Patients who require surgery should discuss this with their orthopedic surgeon and discuss their lifestyle, expectations, and overall arthritis pattern to determine which treatment option is best for them.